Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have so much stuff to show you, but today, as you can see, I have on my overhead light and my ring light, and it is like rainy and dark here. So I decided what I was gonna do, I did kind of a simple makeup look today. I'm kind of in a hurry because I have an 11 o'clock appointment, and I took a shower this morning, and so I decided the best thing for me to do today, since you really can't see a lot anyway, is I'm just gonna go over a few things that I got that I wore today and tell you what I think about them. And then I've got two pair of shoes to show you. And um, so, okay, I have, I don't know what has gotten into me, but I have had, I know what's gotten into me. I had a little, I'm having a skin, I told you this in my last video, you know, they say your skin is always changing. Well, it is. <laughs> because I have always had pretty tough, you know, I haven't ever really been real sensitive and I haven't ever been real dry. But lately, I just have had the hardest time using any acids, Retin-A, Retinol, or anything. And I have, what I have done again, I've done this before, is kind of just burnt my, my skin up this past week. Actually, I think I did it last weekend or something. And I get in this, like, it's like a, a down, you know, perpetual spiral down, because you use whatever makes your, like the Retin-A will make your skin, you know, um, regenerate and then you need like the acids to kind of help it come off and then that ends up burning my skin again and it just oh it just gets out of control so all week i have hated my foundation my makeup my skin has been just like peeling like crazy i've been doing all kinds of stuff so i bought a lot of new foundations and i decided that i'm going to go with not so much matte and try to get some more glowy foundations that are more moisturizing because I feel like everything I was doing was kind of sucking the life out of my skin. So I kind of, along with that, ended up buying some other stuff. So I will show you everything, but this way I'll get a chance to use it all. But some of these things in here I use today and I've used several times so I can tell you what I think about them. And the first thing is the new Dior foundation. And I have a sample here, I did buy it. Um, where is it? It's here somewhere. It is the Forever Skin Glow. And I tried both formulas, the Matte Forever and the Skin Glow in a different, a neutral tone. And that's another thing. I've been trying to decide, do I like neutral? Do I like sticking with my warm? And nine times out of 10, I like sticking with the warm tones, just a lighter shade. That way it's still my skin tone, but it's still brightening. And so the one I ended up purchasing after trying, I think three of them, is the same that I wear in the backstage, which is the 2WO, which I believe would be two warm olive. And I actually had them give me a sample so I could try it before I opened it. That way, if I didn't like it, I could return it and they could still sell it. But I wore it today and I love it. It was one of those that when I put it on, it was just like, oh, you know, like some of them you put on, you're like, oh, I think I can make this work. Or, oh, I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need bronzer. I'm gonna need concealer. But this one is one I just put on and it just looked beautiful. It was silky, the tone was good, and I just love it. So that is what I have on for foundation today, and I can barely see what you can see. So then um, the next thing I used is something I have tried before, but I had the wrong shade. And so yesterday I was in Belk, and um, I one of the girls that I really like to talk to that I have gone to for years, and a lot of these girls at the makeup counters have been there for years and years and years. And like, it's almost like they remember what I've tried and they know what I like. And um, so I ended up getting the Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer. But the other one I had, I believe was in Light. And this one is Light Medium Cool. And that gives it a little bit more brightening, kind of like a pink undertone. And that is what I have under my eyes today with no powder to set it. My skin has been so dry. My eyelids have peeled. Right in here has been peeling. I mean, I I don't even know. It just went berserk this week. And so I'm still do I'm still peeling, but I'm just trying to not put anything drying on my skin. So 
that I know looks good and it doesn't really need setting and I just knew that I liked it. I needed another color. So that's what I have on for my um, under eye today and I love it. Okay, this is something else that I bought when I went to Dillard's. This is when I was Christmas shopping. I was um, working with Amanda at Lancome and that's when they were having the sale. I think you, for every hundred you spent, you got a $25 gift card to come back after Christmas and spend it. I mean, it's just like, it was like free money. It, it didn't have to be any certain thing or anything, but I have tried this in the golden color and the ecru light, but she liked the ecru medium and it's their absolute powder and love this, love it. I mean, I knew I loved the formula, and matter of fact, when I bought it, I went straight upstairs and looked in my powder stash to make sure I didn't already have it. And I had the other two colors. So I've been using this and I love it. It gives such a, it's not that it's iridescent or anything, but it's just not a flat powder. And um, when I can do a good tutorial and my lighting is better, I will use this so you can see it. It almost just gives your skin a glow. It just, it's just not flat. And I knew I liked this, so glad that I got that color. Okay, oh, this is so pretty and I've used this so many times. This was the blush that Amanda had on that day. She had on this and she had on a Dior blush over it that I loved, but they're out of. And it is the Lancome blush in Shimmer Mocha Havana. And it's something different. It's kind of like, um, the tones that we like, like the Chanel accent and stuff like that. It is just so pretty. It looks so dark here, but it's actually what I have on first on the backs of my cheeks. And then I'll have, I have on a pop of pink that I'm going to show you, but this alone is just fine. The only reason I put the pink on is because I wanted to be able to show it to you and I wanted to try it, but this is so pretty. It's gorgeous. It's kind of like one of those, um, contour blushes that you can kind of put, you know, kind of ease into your contour and it looks so pretty. I really like that. I'm glad I got it. Okay. Um, I started out today with a good sample that I got in a gift bag. I bought some stuff at Laura Mercier and Amanda gave me a little gift bag of things to try. And in that bag, were three fabulous things. Like I've already got, I already had one of them, but I used it today. It's the all natural matte um, eyeshadow caviar stick. I've got that on all by itself on my eyelids. I tried to do a more natural look today. I didn't even want to put lashes on. And um, so I started off with this, which is the foundation primer in radiance. I figured that would be a little bit more hydrating and give me some glow. So that's what I have on. And then um, another thing that was in that little bag, and I'm not sure if anyone else is doing that gift or not, but if you live here, she has it. But this is something I have never tried and it is so good. It is their translucent powder that we all love, the Laura Mercier in pressed form. And I kind of ran it along, you know, right here to kind of, you know, give me that sculpted look. And then I used it in the T-zone just a little bit. And I was like, oh my goodness, this beats the heck out of that big, messy, translucent powder that I have. And um, it's a little bit of a lighter, you don't have to worry about getting too much. So super excited about that. Okay, I have this on today. I showed it to you last week, but this is actually the first time that I've tried it. Sorry, the trash trucks are going by. But this is that Fenty Gloss Balm in the new, I think it's called Fussy. And I've got it on today with, I don't have it out here, but the Estee Lauder um, Lip Pencil in Spice, which is a very good lip pencil to have. Spice is, it's not as orangey as the Spice from MAC. It's real easy to wear with pinks. Okay, when I was at Estee Lauder, they had a free gift and it came in this really cool little bag that I'm going to save for when I'm traveling. And if you spent, I think like $39.50, you got this gift and it was a full-sized um, gentle eye makeup remover. And then it came with a full-sized sumptuous mascara, sumptuous extreme in waterproof, I believe. Is this waterproof? I believe it said waterproof. I hope it is because I had just read that when you curl your lashes, if you want them to stay, 
a waterproof mascara makes them stay curled. Now, I say that and I didn't even curl my lashes today, but um, you're sassy behind me. And um, so anyway, I wore that today and I have the worst time. Do you guys have the worst time just getting mascara everywhere when you're putting it on? So much that it almost ruins your concealer and your um, eye makeup. I had to take off so much, it like went everywhere. But um, so I have that on today. And this I love. It is the Double Wear Infinite Waterproof Eyeliner. And I have this on today. I hope you can see it. But I put it on. I love that it's got a really fine little tip and a sharpener at the end and a sponge. So what I did is I ran it along my lashes and then she told me to work quick because it sets. So I put one on and then kind of smudged it out and then went over it and darkened it again. And then I did the other the same way. So that was a really good gift to get with that. And then um, I went to Laura Mercier because I wanted to look at their cream blushes and at the um, brushes. <laughs> that rhymes. And I ended up getting buying this brush and I used it today for the... Um, Lancome setting powder. I have fallen back in love with these like dual duo fiber brushes. I'm just realizing that they really, um, especially a lot of these products like shimmer blushes or bronzer that you can kind of get too much of, these are a good thing to have. And I like that they're just easy to buff in without really buffing too hard. So I bought this and she said this is really good to use with that Laura Mercier, the new um, translucent shimmer powders. She said this works really well with that. And then I was looking at her other brushes and she ended up having a set that comes in this brush roll and it was a good deal. It already had two of the brushes that I wanted in it, which was the crease brush and this little pointer kind of detail brush. She said this was great for the cake liner and all kinds of stuff. And I do love brushes like that. And then it also had the blush brush the all over shadow, and then this little fan brush. So I bought that, and then the blush that I bought in the um, cream brush, cream, goodness gracious, blushes, is the Oleander. And that is what I have on today. And it is just, she said it was one of their best sellers. It is the pinky one. So it's, I would say it's a I would say it's a cool toned pink, but it's not too bright. And I put that on just the apples of my cheek with a beauty blender and just kind of bounced it right on. You know, I didn't go any further back, just right in here. And it's very pretty. It's not really, really, I used a dry beauty blender because basically I was lazy and I just figured it would be fine. And I had to really get it in there. And so it's not one that's really, really, really tacky or creamy. And I like that. I don't like them when they're so, I don't, like the Stila, that one just is so creamy. And so is the Bobbi Brown. It's almost like they're so creamy, you can't just layer without it interrupting what's underneath. And um, so I really like that. And I do still really like the Chanel cream stick. That's another one that's really good and not too creamy. So I think that is all of the makeup that I have on today that I'm going to show you and I'm going to get this out of the way and then come right back and show you the shoes that I got because I think you're going to love them. And before that, I wanted to show you yesterday when I did my Christmas gift um, video, I forgot to show you what Tammy sent me. We sent each other some stuff back and forth. I didn't really call hers a Christmas gift, but I'm always like picking up stuff to send her and she's doing the same for me. And she actually sent me two dozen donuts from like this really good donut place where she lives. And she sent it, um, I think, I don't know, it was supposed to get here the Saturday, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before and it got stuck in the mail and we did not get it until I think Wednesday or Thursday. So we couldn't eat the donuts and it killed the kids. Will wanted to eat those donuts so bad. But, um, so this is the other stuff that she sent me. She sent me two Tom Ford lipsticks, one in Indian Rose and the other in Spiced Honey. Indian Rose is something I've never tried. I love Spiced Honey. And, um, let's see what Indian Rose, it's beautiful. Oh, that is so gorgeous. 
so and I know I love Tom Ford lipsticks so then she sent me I was gonna wear a pair of these today and I just didn't have it in me to put false lashes on I don't know what's going on with me John says I need some vitamin D and he might be right but she sent me the Ardell faux mink little lash um, variety box here and I haven't tried some of these so I'm glad to get this the only ones I had tried I think are the Demi Wispies and then this is probably my favorite gift it is a new devotional and um, it's from I've had Sarah Young I've had hers before I love these if you're like me and you wish that you could read the Bible more or you wish wish that you would read the Bible more this is a perfect way and I find that when I do this I read these at night it just um, it's a great ending to the day and it kind of brings all of this material silly worried about my skin silly world to a halt and it brings you back to what's important and um, it's just I don't know I feel like it helps with my prayers and um, it just is a real good way to end the day and I just love these and I really love this um, particular author Sarah Young so thank you Tammy I really appreciate it that's such a a good gift um, because when you give someone like this it's like I don't know it's, I think it just shows that you love them and that you care about them and then she sent Brooke and I this book and it's insta style and it's a whole book on Instagram on different things um, to help you and goodness knows I need it I am the worst Instagrammer and I, I'm so bad that I find myself I feel like if someone else would come up with my captions, I could do it, but I, for some reason, second guess myself and I just hate writing the captions because I feel like, I don't know, you almost have to be, I don't know, you know what I mean. So loving that. So thank you very much, Tammy. She knows we've talked many, many times. We talk, we text every day. Okay, now to the shoes. Okay, the first ones I'm going to show you, hold on. Okay, so the first ones I'm going to show you are the ones that I told you about last week. And I'm so glad I got these, even though I already have those gunmetal ones in the Stuart Weitzman, because I think these are so much prettier. And they are the Michael Kors, and they were on sale. They had them at Belk's, but I actually found them at Zappos and ordered them. I believe they were $79 or $80. And are they not the prettiest shoes i think they are so feminine they're so timeless they're so like marilyn monroe or um is it elvira hancock from the um the movie i was talking about and just sarah jessica parker uh carrie sex in the city they're just i think they're just so classic and they're so pretty and they would look good with jeans they'll look good with so many different things and um i just love that design and the color and i, I think they might come in black too but I just love that. A good pair of metallic shoes are just, they're awesome. And then these are from the brand, this is GB, but it's kind of like a, um, a lesser, less expensive brand, version of the Gianni Beanie that I love at Dillard's. And um, Brooke and I were in there. I was actually, um, I wanted to buy her a pair of shoes for Christmas, but she's gotten kind of picky. She, her, our taste is very different. Not very different, but pretty different. Well, for one thing, she's 18, so she can wear a lot of things that I can't wear. But um, in shoes, I wanted to buy her a pair of shoes that she liked that she could wear to work. And so I took her in there and we ended up getting her a pair of shoes and I will link those down below. And I saw these. And it was right after I got my slides from John. Matter of fact, I had them on that day and I saw these and I just loved them. I love that they've got um, the studs and everything and that they're silver and gold and they just look really cute on. I'm gonna wear them today, so I'll show them to you. Now, I wanted to say, these are totally different in the way they fit and the way they look and feel than the loafers or the mules because these are kind of flippity-floppity. Like when you wear them, you're gonna flip them, you know, up and down when you walk. The Gucci slides, I've got them in the satin and in that new leather. Those are the kind you put your foot in and they don't flip or flop. Your foot stays in it and you kind of walk with them on. And I know you know what I'm talking about. So if you like either one of those or don't, just keep that in mind. But these I think are going to look so cute even in the summertime with um, 
you know, with pants and a tank top or something like that. I just felt like they were really cute. And um, so I'll try these on and show you my non-eventful outfit of the day and then I'll let you go and I will probably see you tomorrow. Be right back. So today I have on this top that I showed you a couple weeks ago from Free People. I love it. It's um, just comfy. I need to get like the cream or the black. It's a good top to just throw on and I love that it's kind of um, got that baby doll type, um, you know, the, what is it, the empire waist or whatever. And um, so if you have a tummy, it's good at hiding the tummy. I threw on my ever faithful loves of my life, Corey Citizens of Humanity jeans. I've actually bought three pairs of jeans that I want to show you. I want to do a whole jean video on them because two of them are the mousy denim and that's really expensive but it's a really high-end denim and um, so I wanted to do a different video on that and then one pair is Levi's but um, anyway so you know I love these and then here are the shoes and as you can see they're just very casual um, I think that if you like the look of the Gucci I think that you would like these and this may be um, I always like to if I didn't have the other Gucci's then I wouldn't have known if I was going to like them but sometimes I like to get like a um, something similar to see if I like it first. And these would be a good option. They were only $58. They were on sale. But I just love these. I think they're really cute. Okay. And then I thought I would bring you in just a little closer to see my makeup in case you wanted to see anything I had on. Like the blush or the bronzer I have on today is the, I'm loving it. It's the Chanel, that Healthy Glow Powder. It's so pretty, and I didn't put any like true contour or anything else on today. And um, my earrings are some old ones that John bought me one time. They have tanzanite and aquamarine, and I put them on because I had this ring that my parents gave me um, a couple Christmases ago. It's aquamarine and diamonds, and then that is my St. Kilda's love ring that John bought me years and years ago. And my nail polish is... Um, Brooke asked me what it was last night. I said it's just the best dark ever. It's um, Lincoln Park After Dark, and that is the color that he is. My hands are swollen today for some reason. I think it's because it's so hot outside. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I have all ideas that I will see you here tomorrow, and I'll show you some different stuff. Um, I did get this really cool. I mean, when you see this in the mail, in a package, I opened it up and I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh. It's some new YSL lipsticks, plumping lipsticks, and I wanna do a whole video on this, so I'll be doing that soon. And I'll see you then, bye-bye.